Hello, my awesome and amazing Geminis. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Audio reading for today. What is going on with your specific person and the karmic? If there's a third party situation going on, what's going on between the two of them? Going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Gemini listeners and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to. Power of number four. Power of number seven and power of number six. Okay. Looks like we're going to the number 17. Some of you Geminis could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus born in the month of April. Others of you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Leo born in the month of July. You may also be dealing with another Gemini or possibly a Cancerian born in the month of June. And yes, a lot of you Geminis were born at the latter part of May. That is true. Scorpio energy coming in through the number 16, as well as Aquarius energy coming in through the number 17 and Sagittarius energy coming in through the number 14. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January, but also picking up on Virgo energy as well. So let's see what's going on between your person and the karmic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Trusted ancestors of my Gemini listeners and subscribers, what is going on between Gemini's person and the karmic? Please show me what's up. Okay, so we have a Ten of Cups. Your person could have been with this karmic for a little while. This could also be a, a newer connection that they're also in with them. You might be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. They're coming in as the King of Cups. Supposedly, your person is just so in love with this karmic. But there's always a but. Somewhere in the grand scheme of it all, there's always a but. <laughs> clarifying the king of cups ooh the nine of wands your person is sitting on the fence gemini you could be dealing with a fire sign aries leo or sagittarius there's some kind of a i'm working with the game of thrones deck there's some kind of internal war or battle with inside of them. They're sitting on the fence. Somebody's playing a victim or a wounded warrior in this connection. I feel it's more or less your person. What appeared to be all shiny and new and glittery in their eyes about this karmic, the energy starting to go south. Why should your person who supposedly is so happy to be with this karmic, why should they be sitting on the fence? Why would there be any questioning as to why, you know, they may not exactly be as happy as they thought they were going to be? Well, going into the after tarot. They're seeking some kind of advice or counsel, maybe from a close or trusted friend. From the after tarot, it is the nine of wands. So I have two nine of wands. Somebody sitting on the fence. It's your person. They are discussing this connection between them and the karmic with like, like I said, like a trusted friend. It could be a family member. They could definitely be bitching and complaining about certain things that are going on in that connection.
You're sitting on the fence with your emotions and your person is definitely feeling left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. Or they are seeking advice or counsel on how to release this karmic out of their life without having like a big, huge upheaval. They're not sure how the karmic is going to take the news. The way I see it is that your person has fallen out of love with this karmic. There's more negative energy than there is positive. So the nine of wands dominating over the sun card. You could also be dealing with a Leo. And I also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy going on. They're not happy. There's too much discrepancy. I mean, it's like two strong positive cards, but three negative. And your person coming in as the king of cups is like, they're caught in the middle. This karmic could be pressuring your person to marry them because marriage can come through the sun card. Why are they seeking advice or counsel from somebody close to them? Ugh. We have a seven of wands. Somebody's going on the attack or the defense. Or your person, Gemini, is trying to ward off the karmic, shall we say, quote unquote, with a stick. There's arguments that are going on between your person and the karmic. What are they arguing about, please? What are they arguing about? Something about a trip or travel. They could have had plans to go on vacation. Somebody could be threatening not to go on vacation because just something's off. It could be about the money. Your person could be down on their luck right now with their finances. Maybe it's the karmic. Three of coins. You know, the three of coins is about teamwork and collaboration, but in the after tarot, it only shows one person. There's not traditionally three people in this card. So somebody is feeling singled out, whether it's your person or the karmic. The karmic could be griping and complaining. Maybe your person's trying to go on a trip with a friend, a buddy, a girl, a girlfriend of theirs, and somebody is not having it. It's almost like they're ignoring what the karmic has to say to them. What is this five of pentacles? Yeah, there's a breakup coming. Three of swords. Or a breakup has already happened. Or it's on its way. Your person feels emotionally stuck. All that glitters is not gold. So whatever this karmic supposedly had, it's like that whole magical essence of your person having stars in their eyes about this karmic, it like it faded away. Clarifying the sun card. Yeah. You know, it could be that this karmic is griping and complaining about your person not giving them time or energy, maybe because they want to go out and do things with their friends. But yet I have this four of wands, this quote unquote twin flame soulmate card, but there's somebody sitting on the fence or at war or battle about giving this karmic like the higher level of commitment. Now, in some cases, you could be dealing with somebody who is already attached to somebody in a higher level of commitment with marriage attached onto it. And so I can look at the three of swords as like, okay, your person's ready for a divorce. Because I have a separation, split, breakup, divorce energy next to a four of wands that shows a higher level of commitment. There could also be arguments over money right now. Again, arguments over a trip, not giving enough time and energy. They could be in lack of emotion, sitting on the fence. Somebody's in a ho-hum, ho-hum attitude. It's almost like things have become very robotic between your person and the karmic. My, 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 my. Let's see here. I'm going to go into the Kipper deck with this one. 
Yeah, your person's feeling definitely stuck, Gemini, the imprisonment card. They just like, they want to be set free. Because it's something about the nagging or complaining. They don't want to feel stuck or chained down in a higher level of commitment with this person. Clarifying the King of Cups as your person, like in the Distant Horizons, the Distant Horizons card. They're ready to anchor their life somewhere else. And all the while, in the back of their mind, I feel like they're thinking about you, Gemini. But it's like they're not ready to make any major moves towards you because they feel like they have enough on their plate right now and trying to possibly strategize or seeking this advice or counsel or how to get out of this connection with the karmic without having to create a war or a battle. They're trying to be mature about this, the mature man, the mature person, the mature woman. They're trying to look at this from a realistic perspective. They do not want to grow old with this karmic. They don't see it because they're at war. There's two cards that are showing me tug of war, battle, and again, sitting on the fence. Like They're not having it. They're not feeling it. They want their space. They feel claustrophobic or this karmic you know, is always watching their every move. They feel like they just can't do anything. So yeah. Right now, your person, it seems to me, especially since I already did a, a Scorpio uh, and an Aries, um, them and the karmic and your specific partners, they all want to leave. They all want to leave the karmic. And this should have been done a long time ago, but there is an impending breakup. What will be the downfall or the breakup between Gemini's person and the karmic? It's going to be over another person or them coming back towards you, Gemini. Queen of Wands. So a male or female, doesn't matter. And because they're wanting to give commitment somewhere else. Ace of Pentacles. Is this commitment with Gemini, please? They're obsessing. They're obsessing over you, Gemini got Capricorn energy coming in through the devil. They're obsessing. And also too, another reason for the downfall is that there's going to end up being some kind of cheating in the connection between them and the karmic. What is the devil? And it could also be fighting because I have a ace of coins that's dominating over the devil. This could also talk about greed, like greediness, selfishness, and also having uh, arguments over money. And major commitment, Queen of Cups. They're not in love with the karmic anymore. It's a superficial connection. Yeah, Hierophant. It's just a superficial connection. When I have the devil dominating over somebody's emotions or a queen or something, somebody is highly controlling. Somebody is controlling the connection. They both are. It almost feels like both of them are trying to control and or possibly manipulate one another. It's absolutely ridiculous. They're both wasting their time. Somebody feels claustrophobic. I say it's your person and overindulgent. They could be going out to the bars a lot or just trying to hang out with friends. Anything that will distract them from being with this karmic so they do not have to spend time with them. Somebody overeats, there could be overeating, food addictions, drug addictions, sex addictions going on. It's just an overindulgence or this karmic is exceptionally greedy, constantly needy, always needing your person's attention. Like there's no sense of self. Hence the reason why your person's feeling like in imprisonment right now. They just can't breathe. They just want to escape. They just want to get away from them. What is this overindulgence? The Ace of Swords. Or they're just going out a lot. They're going out a lot. They're trying to avoid. Trying to avoid the karmic. And they're also avoiding telling the karmic the truth that they don't want to be with them anymore. That they're, they're falling out of love with them. So... My awesome and amazing Tauruses, if you love this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.